mom works at Langley Air Force Base, so military family. I was speaking with a gentleman today. He said, uh, I said, what time do you get up? He says, I get up at 11 o'clock. I said, 11 o'clock? My mom was getting us up at 6 a.m. My grandfather was getting us up at 6 a.m. every morning. To this day, I still get up early. At 11 o'clock, the day is halfway done. I talk about sports, but you know, my mom always harped on education because even when I was five and six years old, that's when I started playing sports. You know, we couldn't go outside or we couldn't go to practice if we didn't have our homework done. And it wasn't just it wasn't about just doing the bare minimum. It was about going above and beyond. You can outwork 95% of your competition if you want to. Now, there's a balance here, right? Don't think, you know, you can go do some extra practice or do some extra push-ups or something like that without giving something up. You know, a lot of people, they want a lot, but they don't want to give up a lot. So if you want to get better, if you, you know you need to increase your upper body strength, you're going to have to give something up, whether it's PlayStation, whether it's PlayStation, anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? PlayStation in here? Or in, X, oh, is it X, is the Xbox crowd? Microsoft? You have to give something up to gain something. You know, if you don't hear anything else today, I want you to hear, do every, everything you do, do it on purpose. And what do I mean when I say that? Whether it's studying, study on purpose. Don't do it because your mom and dad told you to get in there and study. Whether it's training, don't go to practice how many guys have gone to practice, and at the end of practice, you're like, why, why were we out? If you're if you're wasting days like that, time is a finite it's a finite thing, and finite means it's gonna run out, and your athletic clock is already running out. Believe me, a lot of you guys in here are closer to the end than you are to the beginning. I'm just gonna it's just, I'm, I'm gonna be super honest with you guys, and it hurts, but I love you guys, and I don't even know you guys. And when I first got drafted to New England, I'm a 10th overall pick. I remember walking in there, you know, Teddy Bruschi, he's like, he was, I mean, this is old for sports, right? He was like 31, that's old for sports. Junior Seau was like 38. He, Mike Vrabel was like 33, right? And the, they told me, I'm this young guy coming in, first round draft pick. They knew I was coming to take someone's position, right? Someone was gonna lose a job. And at that point, you're not playing for fun. And you guys are playing for fun now, a little bit, but a lot of you guys are juniors and seniors, so you're playing for a scholarship. Can I get an amen from the parents in here? <laughs> when you start to think like that, your whole mindset will shift. It, my last point for you guys, get uncomfortable. In America, let's be honest, we live very comfortable lives. So get uncomfortable in life. Every day, you can ask my wife, she gets mad at me all the time. I take a cold shower every day, freezing cold. No, start it hot, go to cold. My whole mindset behind that is, if I can start my day off, right, in the most, it's five o'clock in the morning, in the most uncomfortable situation, there's nothing that's gonna happen the rest of the day to make me as uncomfortable as I am there, right? So get uncomfortable.